So the crypto market has taken quite a beating today. It is down this red across the board. Should you be worried? Yes or no? I think no. And in this video, I'm going to just do a quick update with my thoughts on why I think this is not a big deal and why I think this correction is actually a good thing in the longer cycle because it increases the chances that this bull run is going to continue for longer and still go a lot higher later in this year. What's up guys, Dirk here from intelligentcryptocurrency.com. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you do get future updates. And if you want me to send you an email every time I upload a new uh, video and you wanna get on my email list for updates, just click on the first link in the description below. Sign up for my free crypto masterclass. That way you get on my email list and I can send you updates via email. All right, so Bitcoin is back at $50,000. It actually dipped a little bit below it. Um, you can see things are red below, across the board. A lot of altcoins are down 30, 40, 50%. And this is basically welcome to crypto, okay? So if you've been in crypto for a few years, um, this won't surprise you. This does happen in crypto. That is why it is so volatile. That is why it's, it's so important to only you know, be in crypto with money that you can afford to lose or risk money, small percentage of your overall net worth because if it drops by 30, 40, 50%, that basically means that, you know, if you are too big invested in this, you see your net worth take huge swings. And obviously that's very stressful. It puts you in, uh, you know, a bad state of mind. It causes you to make bad decisions because when, when you have that much pressure and you invest it that big and it drops against you, well, then you tend to make the worst decisions or you're forced to make decisions because you can't withstand the drawdown or the loss. Meaning that, you know, if you put yourself in that situation and drops 30 or 40, 50%, you basically can be like, well, I can't really lose much more. So I have to sell. You take a huge loss, which wasn't really necessary. So if you stick within your risk allocation, and in my opinion, it should be 10% or less of your entire net worth. That way, even if it draws down by 50%, you know, it's only drawing down a maximum of 5% on your net worth, which obviously it's unpleasant, but it's not the end of the world. And you can set it out because usually this is a, a waiting game. And I think we are still in the longer bull run cycle, meaning that, you know, in a couple months from now, there's a good chance that the markets are going to be way higher than where they were. I think we still got to go see new highs on Ethereum, probably on Bitcoin and definitely for a lot of the altcoins, in my opinion. So what I want to share with you um, just real quick is look, we had this drop. Okay. You can see we had a big drop. We went from 65 K all the way down to just under $50,000. And, um, sure that's annoying, but look at the, the grand picture, right? So, okay, we're, we're dropped. What have we dropped? 25%. It's still not the end of the world. As you know, I've, I've shared this in previous videos. We have had multiple 40% drops in the 2017 bull run on the way up. So we're at a 25% drop. That is still completely within Bitcoin's normal range or within the bull run's normal range. And if you zoom out over here, look how high we've come and look how small that dip actually is. And even though that dip is pretty significant in terms of altcoins, you know, dropping 30, 40, 50% from their highs, again, in the larger picture, it's just a smaller dip. This dip over here that we had in, in January, where we went from roughly 42,000 to 29,000. Again, it was a very similar thing. And even back then people were saying, oh, the bull run is over and so on and so forth. You know, that was just over a 30% drop. We're at 25% now and look how much higher we are than last time, okay? So I do think this bull run still has legs in it. And I think that the fact that this correction happened now, even before 12 months in the halving, is actually a really good thing because it resets all the overbought conditions, it wipes out a lot of the leverage positions, it wipes out all the FOMO and the crazy stuff that was starting to happen, which was pretty much getting ridiculous. People were launching scams and, and clones of clones of clones of clones and all these coins were pumping 100% in a day. It's just not sustainable. And that, that kind of euphoria up there, um, you know, the market just resets itself and comes back down. And now there's a lot of fear in the market. A lot of people are thinking, hey, this bull run is over, you know, we're done. Especially a lot of people who were around in the last cycle, they still have this fear, this this PTSD from the bear market in, in crypto in, in 2018. But remember, I've gone over the cycles a lot of times. 2013 cycle was 12 months. Okay, we're not even at 12 months yet. Um, 2017 cycle was 18 months we could still very possibly run until the end of the year with this entire cycle, especially now after this dip 
has happened because that resets a whole lot of things. We could still potentially trade sideways for, you know, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and then go for a final run up and a parabolic blow off towards the end of the year, which is the other type of scenario. And if you've watched my previous videos, um, I, I made one, uh, the, the last video, I'll link to it up here anyway, where I said there was a possibility of some sort of double top in May, where you get, you know, a, a local top, we get a 30, 40, 50% correction couple months sideways and then new highs at the end of the year that was basically the 2013 cycle maybe that's what's happening now we had a little bit of a local top you know in in the middle of april we're pulling back and we've seen almost 50 percent on some altcoins since their highs so maybe that's playing out we get that correction and then we go for a huge huge run towards the end of the year which would be absolutely fantastic and that would allow those targets to be hit you know where people are saying 200k 300k per bitcoin where things really go nuts because i don't think we've had the parabolic blow off phase yet we haven't gone you know two three x in in 30 days on bitcoin you know that hasn't happened yet and altcoins a lot of the 2017 altcoins haven't even hit uh, 50 percent of their old highs i'm talking about um for example icx right didn't even hit 50 percent. so it would be very very strange for me if this bull run was over at this point i don't think it is and i think we have further to go and one of the big possibly catalysts that happened yesterday is basically Biden said the capital gains tax proposal was going to hit the wealthy. So there's these new rumors. Who knows if it's going to happen or not? Probably it will happen. Who knows? But he's saying he's expected to raise long term capital gains tax for the wealthiest Americans to 43.4%, including a surtax. So basically, that would apply to digital assets too, potentially to Bitcoin. So maybe that caused some sort of panic sell off where people who owned um, Bitcoin in the US, right? They're thinking, oh, well, then I'm going to sell now before this law comes into effect and realize some gains or whatever the case is. Maybe that's the case. Who knows? But either way, I think short term, you know, maybe this market drops a bit more. Maybe it goes a little bit more sideways. Maybe it takes some more time. But I don't think this is the end of the bull run. And I think this correction, this drop actually allows us uh, a bigger chance of going to new highs and, and for this bull run to continue for several more months. And that would line up very nicely with the peak of this bull run potentially being in November or December of this year, just like it was in 2013. It was November of 2013 was the peak of the cycle. December of 2017 was the peak of the cycle then. So this time, maybe November, December, maybe January 2022, it's possible we can continue to run longer with a correction like this, because if it would have just kept on going, you know, for another couple of weeks or a couple of months, I think that would really increase the chances of the cycle being over. But now that we get the correction, I think that's a good idea. And again, just keep in mind, always looking at these previous cycles. Look at this. Okay, so this is the Bitcoin all time high index. Um, this is the 2013 cycle in blue, 2017 cycle in red. We are in white. We're only at 2.7 X. We should still have a couple more months and a lot higher to go in price both in Bitcoin and if Bitcoin goes higher, Ethereum is likely to go higher. Altcoins are likely to go higher. Again, Ethereum hasn't even hit 2x the previous high. Bitcoin has already hit 3x the previous high. So I think ETH still has higher to go. And if ETH and Bitcoin are still going to go higher, altcoins are more likely to going to go higher also later in this year. But in the short term, who knows, it could still dip more. And this might take a couple of months or at least maybe a couple of weeks of sideways trading within a range where it just, you know, does its thing, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. It doesn't really go anywhere. It could be kind of boring, could cause even more people to lose interest, lose faith. And then all of a sudden, when everyone's least expecting it, the whole market explodes again. We get a huge parabolic run up in the space of maybe a couple months or even a couple weeks where things go absolutely nuts. And that would be then the end of the cycle, the blow off phase. And that would be the one where I'd be looking to absolutely exit the markets take huge profits, maybe even get out completely. So at this point in time, I am not worried about the crypto markets. I think this correction is healthy. Again, like I said, short term, maybe it'll dip a bit lower. Maybe it'll take a bit longer. Maybe it'll take a couple months, maybe a couple weeks, or maybe not. Maybe it runs straight back up in the next week or two. Who knows? But overall, personally, I am not worried about this. I do think we will see higher prices later this year. Obviously, I can't see the future and I can't guarantee that. So that is just my personal opinion. It's not financial advice, but hopefully this helps you, um, you know, look at it a bit more objectively and look at what are the possibilities. Obviously, you have to be prepared for everything. That is what you sign up for when you get involved with crypto. There's high volatility. 
there's risk for huge downside drawdowns, 50, 60, 70, 80%. So anything is possible. But at the same time, you know, the huge potential upsides and the asymmetric rewards, um, that's what comes with the huge volatility and the risk. If there wasn't these huge drawdowns, there wouldn't be the huge potential upside. So, you know, always be careful, never invest what you can't afford to lose, make your own decisions at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these updates, if you want to continue to get more. And of course, if you want to get on my email list, you want to get updates whenever I upload a new video, you want to get my free masterclass, click the first link in the description, sign up for that. You'll get the masterclass, you'll get the email updates, and you'll be able to also get the info on how to join my intelligent cryptocurrency community, membership, newsletter, program, all that information is there when you sign up for the email list. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.